बताएं कि तारिस्तान के सदर रोस्तम इस हवाले से जो है वो गुफ्तु कर रहे थे और उन्होंने कहा कि मजीद मामला को आगे बढ़ाना होगा इस वक्त वजी अला पंजाब मियाँ मोहम्मद शहबाज शरीफ रोस्तम पर पहुंची हैं और वो तकरीब से खिताब कर रहे हैं मिस्टर रोस्तम मिनी खानोफ ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ रिपब्लिक ऑफ तारिस्तान मिस्टर क्रीम ऑफ एल्बर्ट डिप्टी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ रिपब्लिक ऑफ तारिस्तान मिस मीनुलीना तालिया हेड ऑफ ट्रेड एजेंसी रिपब्लिक ऑफ तारिस्तान मैडम आयशा गौस पाशा मिनिस्टर ऑफ फाइनेंस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पंजाब मिस्टर शेख अलाउद्दीन मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पंजाब ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स ऑफ डेलीगेशन ऑफ तारिस्तान ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर्स पार्लियामेंटेरियंस हेड्स ऑफ बिजनेस हाउसेस फ्रॉम पंजाब प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ लाहौर चैम्बर ऑफ कॉमर्स फॉर्मर प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ चैम्बर ऑफ कॉमर्स मेंबर्स ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिव बॉडी पार्लियामेंटेरियंस एंड ऑफ कोर्स डिप्लोमैट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन असलम एंड गुड मॉर्निंग एक्सलेंस इट्स रेलिया great pleasure to welcome you to lahore and i am extremely grateful to you for having accepted my invitation and found time to visit us at your uh, earliest convenience people of uh, punjab and people of uh, pakistan we are all very happy to uh, welcome you here of course pakistan has long standing relations with russian federation with republic of tatarstan and uh, prime minister nawaz sharif often tells me how he was warmly welcomed during his uh, visit to your great country in 1999 and now we have you here along with your delegation august extremely well for our countries which are wedded into relations on the basis of our economic cooperation our historical bonds and of course to islamic states excellency pakistan had strong relation with russian federation right from the inception of pakistan we had uh, trade relations we had uh, uh, huge imports from uh, russia and of course uh, it was governed by barter trade mechanism we would export to russia and we would import from russia goods and equipment and services under barter and it was a very growing cooperation mechanism which uh, unfortunately for uh, other reasons got scuttled tatarstan has a uh, huge potential to come forward and have uh, economic cooperation with pakistan and punjab 
in an enhanced way your country is the most developing economy under a russian federation you have a, a wonderful petrochemical industry a very strong agriculture sector including livestock and uh, we are very uh, impressed by your uh, e governance model your e governance in public sector e schooling is uh, most definitely a treat to watch we would like uh, uh, to learn from your experience we would like uh, to have greater cooperation in this field because punjab by the grace of god excels excellency in uh, information technology led initiatives for example all our 700 more than 700 police house stations have been connected with uh, information technology led initiatives we excel in uh, uh, e schooling in punjab in different ways and means for example we are distributing 50000 tablets to our uh, primary schools and middle schools in punjab for very productive purposes we distribute annually hundreds and thousands of laptops to our high achievers shining students and there are only two pillars of criteria one is their performance and the other is their uh, financial background excellency punjab as you know is a state of 100 million people it is the largest province of pakistan i will not repeat what has been shown on this screen by punjab board of investment in terms of punjab's uh, key important economic indicators but most definitely i would like to say for your kind consideration that we have some outstanding business people sitting here they have rich experience in industry in commerce in exports and imports and they can really be great partners with the business houses from tatarstan particularly in those areas excellency which uh, has a uh, great a uh, dominance in tatarstan like uh, as you said agriculture petrochemical e governance and of course uh, tourism uh, we would like to welcome uh, business houses from tatarstan to uh, sit down with our uh, uh, business houses and carve out a mechanism a road map through which both the countries can really join hands and cooperate in various fields excellency punjab has a very strong infrastructure which can support all these efforts we have cpac china pakistan economic corridor which can create a linkage between pakistan punjab and of course tatarstan and russian federation on your uh, dynamic leadership and of course uh, very dynamic leadership of president putin and prime minister nawaz sharif we can really roll out various initiatives under these various uh, programs china pakistan economic corridor 
has a ticket item of 51 billion US dollars. Out of this, 36 billion dollars, they are allocated for power sector. And as I speak, thousands and thousands of megawatts of power projects based on coal, on solar, wind, hydel energy are all under construction in various parts of Pakistan, including Punjab. And this investment extensively combined with the investment of government of Pakistan and Punjab in gas-based projects will ultimately finish serious load shedding which has been going on in Pakistan for the last more than a decade and which had very negative uh, impact on our economy, on our growth, particularly Punjab because Punjab was starving because of uh, lack of uh, energy and electricity. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of God, by the end of this, this year or early next year, we would have uh, finished off the stigma of load shedding from the face of Pakistan. Investment will grow and potential investors who are shy in investing because of lack of electricity will come forward. And therefore, I invite you, Mr. President, and your team to examine all these potential areas of investment through joint ventures, through standalone investments, because you can invest in Pakistan and own 100% of your investment and also freely repatriate your profits on your investment. It is a win-win situation. Excellency, I would also like to say a word about tourism. Uh, we have huge uh, potential points of promoting tourism in Pakistan and of course in Punjab. And we would like to benefit from your uh, vision in this behalf and uh, we would like to promote our tourism through joint cooperation. As we saw a slide shown by uh, the chief uh, executive of investment in Tatarstan about halal food. Excellency, Pakistan and particularly Punjab has huge livestock base and uh, we have uh, now installed the most modern uh, slaughterhouse in, in Pakistan here in Lahore and our livestock department is making serious efforts in this behalf. We have in this uh, hall former Chief Justice uh, Khalilur Rahman Khan of uh, Lahore High Court who heads Halal Food Forum and he is very uh, keen in promoting Halal Food culture so that Pakistan and Punjab gains in this field. Combined with the efforts of Mr. Naseem Sadak, who is the Secretary of Livestock, and he's making really hard efforts in this behalf, I would like that uh, this part should become an important uh, agenda of uh, discussion while we really formulate a joint policy of uh, trade investment between the Republic of Tatarstan and Pakistan and Punjab. Finally, Excellency, uh, you have uh, uh, great uh, potential in soccer and I know this year you are having international soccer events in Kazan. Uh, Pakistan also has uh, interest in soccer, not as much as 
as uh, cricket because uh, the entire Pakistan is a cricket fan and but football is also uh, played in Pakistan and I would like to put this also another item on our agenda that we promote uh, soccer interest through uh, Tataristan's um, teams and your coaches so that this wonderful game also gets uh, uh, roots in Pakistan. Excellency, uh, since majority of uh, population in Tataristan are Muslims and we share, you know, joint shared values and culture in this behalf and I would like to uh, join my voice with you that those who, uh, God forbid, blame Islam for terrorism, we must condemn them with full force. Pakistan itself is a victim of, of uh, terrorism and terrorists have no religion, they have no belief, they have no color, they have no creed. Terrorists are terrorists, be they from any part of the world and the entire world must condemn extremism and terrorism with full force. Islam is a religion of peace, tolerance, patience promotes justice, promotes equality, promotes equal opportunities and that uh, great golden message and charter of Islam while uh, promoting justice and peace and equality does not take into account who is a Muslim and who is a non-Muslim and uh, the uh, great message from the charter of Medina Munawara uh, during the days of uh, Prophet peace be upon him that how that system in Medina Munawara protected minorities this is the golden message of Islam and this is what Pakistanis believe in and this is what is happening under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. This is how we have to promote harmony and promote the peace between various regions of the world, various communities and try and bridge gaps where extremism is fanned or those people who are plucked from the lowest level of poverty and given uh, nutty lessons and are trained as, as uh, extremists and, and, and terrorists, we must plug all those loopholes and we must as a nation and those who believe in this international and permanent message and vision join hands to kill and this evil in the bud so that the world finally is back to its peace and tranquility. Mr. President, once again, I would like to thank you uh, to uh, accept my, my invitation and find this time to visit us and thank you for your invitation to visit your great country coming June and uh, that official visit you propose to uh, join with the uh, international football matches over there, I accept this invitation and assure you that we'll have both business and pleasure, Pakistan, Tataristan, friendship, Zindabad. آپ شہباز شریف پنجاب تتارستان بزنس فورم تقریب سے خطاب کر رہے تھے ان کا کہنا تھا کہ تتارستان کے لئے پاکستان میں سرمایہ کاری کے بہترین مواقع موجود ہیں اور ہم سرمایہ کاری کی دعوت دیتے ہیں